So for today's trade of the day, we're going to look at the two trades that came up in our scan from last night for the D1 Sniper strategy and just find out whether we're taking them and what the result from those has been. So we're going to start off with a look at uh, Canadian dollar against the Swiss francs. There were two trades in our scanner last night, CAD Swiss and the Hang Seng. Okay, so CAD Swiss, it's not one of the fastest markets in the world, but one of the filters we have in here is that if the stop is less than 40 points, that we don't take it, largely because it generally means it's quite a choppy sort of market. It's less less oomph, less vigor behind it. Remember, as a trader, momentum is your main friend, okay? So if we take a look at this buy trade here, it's really gone sideways for a couple of weeks, right? So we can see the buy trade from the 6th of March there. Uh, the stop loss, look on the left-hand side, 22.9 points. But it's just below 40, obviously. This renders this a no trade. It's less likely to have much fizz behind it. It's more likely to be a loss-making trade. That's the, what it really comes down to. And it was, you know, and it, it chopped back and we would have had a loss, but we didn't take it anyways. Again, it's part of the filters in order to uh, remove the likelihood of a loss. Same thing here. You know, this particular trade here, again, it's only seven points uh, to its aggressive stop. Again, more limping into a trade over the line than actually a real oomphish, uh, it's not even a word, uh, type opportunity. Um, so that's kind of gone nowhere. Let's have a look at the comparison to that, though, which was the Hang Seng, which was a buy trade from last night. So you can see there the buy. OK, so nice big candlestick taking out those previous bars. Now, this is a big stop because it's an index anyway and big separation. But, you know, it's it's more than 40. It's you can see the oomph, the power, the momentum behind a candlestick like that. Now, we don't have to look at the candlestick per se. You know, the minimum 40 points kind of does that for us. So there's enough behind it to suggest that the momentum is likely to be stronger. And you can see here today, we've all already gone on and hit our target. So we had our starter target at 250 points and we had our extended target at 334 points. And you see again, previous move as well. Nice big move um, following a big entry bar as well. If I just have a little bit look back, I can see the previous resistance level as well so where would we look for for a target on this one well look you know if you're happy to run trades run trades right but the thing with the objective is the next area of resistance 17035 we've actually just gone slightly through that that's about a 350 point move so really decent profit target on this trade and we've already gone on and achieved our winner so again just going back to it Part about successful trading is not about having more winning trades. It's a little bit about having fewer loss-making trades. So the more we can control and remove our loss-making trades, the better our trading will naturally be. Want to learn how to find profitable trades like this? Register for our free trading webinar and discover the strategies that turn you into a confident trader. Prefer a more hands-on approach? Schedule a one-to-one -one walkthrough with a senior trader. See our software in action and get those questions answered and take control of your trading journey.